you are new to weight watchers you are step by step guide to success ever wondered if you can lose weight and still munch on your favorite treats sounds wild right but guess what you can let me tell you all about weight watchers stick around and i'll show you how it can shake up your weight loss game by the time we are done you'll be total weight watchers expert for a whole month I got deep into Weight Watchers. I didn't sleep much. I drank lots of espresso to stay a lot. I studied Weight Watchers to make this 10-step guide. Curious how much weight you can lose with Weight Watchers? In a study, people dropped 9.7 pounds or 4.4 kilograms in 6 months. That's like ditching a big bag of potatoes. It's about 5% of their body weight. So, if you are 200 pounds, around 90 kilograms, that's like saying bye bye to 10 pounds or 5 kilograms. But wait, there is more. Those who track their food twice a week for six months lost around 16.6 pounds, around 7.5 kilograms. That's 8 percent of their body weight. So, if you were 250 pounds or 115 kilograms, that's like saying bye bye to 20 pounds or 10 kilograms. Weight Watchers uses a system where foods get points. Each food has points based on protein, fiber, starch, and fat. You have a daily points goal. Also, there are foods with zero points. Let's explain. If your daily points goal is 30 points, that's what you can use for food in a day. But you also get extra points each week for special occasions. Now let's talk about. What happens in the first week many people lose 3 to 5 pounds or 1 to 2 kilograms after that it's about 1 to 2 pounds or half a kilogram to 1 kilogram every week but everyone is journey is different starting the WW program might feel like a lot but don't worry here are 10 simple steps to begin and make yourself ready for success First step sign up for the program. Okay, so you want to start the Weight Watchers, right? Yeah. It costs some money, but it's worth it. Some people try to do it alone, but trust me, it's tough that way. There is this app, Healthier, which used to be called I Track Bites. Not bad if you like old WW stuff. But for the newest and best, go for the Weight Watchers membership. So when you sign up, you got two choices. First, there is a core. You get the app and online stuff. No need for in-person meetings, but you can join virtual ones on Zoom if you want. It's flexible and fits your life. Then there's a premium. It's got all the core stuff plus in-person meetings and live coaching. Good if you like face-to-face help. Here's the cool thing. You can change your plan anytime. Don't stress about picking the perfect one now. Decide if you want digital or some in personal meetings. Step 2 put in your basic info. When you sign up, they'll ask about you. Things like age, male or female, and if you have diabetes. Why? It helps figure out your points. Points show how much you can eat. After you give your info, you'll get two points allowance amounts, daily points and weekly points. Daily points are for each day. Stick to them, lose weight. Weekly points are extra. Use them when you want. You want to have a big meal one night or you'd rather use them a little bit each day. It's your choice. You don't have to use weekly points, but they are there to help you. Stay on track and still enjoy the food you love. Step three: Download the W app. Ready to make your weight loss journey super easy? Let's talk about this cool app. It might feel strange at first, but believe me, once you figure it out, you love it. Imagine having your weight loss coach right in your pocket, cheering you. Some people like to do things the old-fashioned way, with pen and paper, or on their computer but let me tell you it's not as awesome the methods might work for some people but they don't have all the 
awesome features that the app does. So what's so great about the WW app? Well, for beginners, it's simple to keep track of your points. Put in what you eat and the app does all the maths for you. No more writing stuff down or trying to remember what you had for breakfast. It's all right there. But wait, there's more. The app is loaded with lots of other cool stuff. You can find recipes, track your workouts and connect with other people trying to lose weight. It's like having a whole community of weight loss buddies in your pocket. Oh, check this out. The barcode scanner. It's amazing. Scan the barcode on any packed food and the app tells you how many points it is. No more guessing in the store. It's fast, easy and super handy. I know technology can be scary for some times, but trust me, this app is worth it. So go ahead, download it, try it and watch how it can help you reach your weight loss goals. Step 4. Discovering your zero point food list. Guess what? Some foods won't cost you points at all. After you've done the food quiz, you'll get a list of these zero point foods. They are healthy and won't use up your point for the day. You won't even have to keep track of them. So what kind of foods are we talking about? Let me tell you. Stuff like spinach, cucumber, tomatoes, salad greens and zucchini won't cost you any points. Load up your plate, guilt free. No amount of foods, apples, bananas, pears, grapes and more. They're all fair game, whether fresh, frozen or in a smoothie. Fruits are nature's candy and won't take away any points. But wait, there is more. How about some protein pack treats? Things like beans, eggs, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, corn and popcorn. They are all on the list too. Whether you crave something savory or sweet. These zero point options have got you back. And don't forget about lean protein like chicken breast, turkey breast, tofu and fish. You can enjoy them without worrying about your points. Step 5. Check in the points of your favorite foods. Okay, let's talk about food and points. It might seem like a lot, but don't worry, you'll understand soon. First, use the WW app. It helps you to know how many points your food is worth. Some favorite foods have a lot of points. That's okay, you can still eat them. Try to make small changes to lower the points. Use low-fat dairy and less starch. Find yummy foods that have few points. They are out there. Eat more lean proteins, veggies, fruits and beans. You won't be hungry and you'll lose weight. You'll have points left for treats like chocolate and fast foods. Do you want to lose weight and look amazing? Subscribe to the channel. You'll learn easy way to get slimmer and feel great. Imagine wearing those cool slimming jeans and shining in every photo. Let's go on this fun journey together to a healthier, happier you. Click that subscription button. Back to WW. Step 6. Plan what you'll eat for your week. Imagine this. You're hungry for dinner but don't know what to eat. So you decide to order a pizza with everything on it. Yum! But wait, that pizza could be up to 30 plus points. That's a lot. But if you plan, you could have a salad and some WW friendly pizza for few points. See the difference? Planning helps you make smart choices and stick to your goals. It stops you from making quick decisions that could mess up your progress. Plus, it saves your time and stress during the week. No more rushing to decide what's for dinner or grabbing unhealthy snacks. First, make a menu. Write down what you want to eat every day. Think about what you like to cook, what's in season and what's ordered in your kitchen. Next, check your points. Make sure each meal and snacks fit your daily points budget and leave room for treats. Then prepare ahead. Spend some time getting ingredients ready. Chop veggies, cook grains and portion out snacks. That way everything ready when you need it. Try new recipes and mix things up. Variety is fun. 
experiment with different flavors, cushions and cooking methods to keep things exciting. Be flexible, life can change and that's okay. If your plans don't work out, go with the flow. Get back on track the next day. Step 7. Heading to the grocery store. You know what you are eating for the next few days. So, let's make it happen. First thing first, how do you like to shop? Ordering online is super easy and you can use your WW app while you are checking out food. But if you prefer going to the store, that's cool too. Remember, you can use the app to see how many points items have. We all been there. You go to the store for one thing and come back with 10. Sounds familiar? To avoid this, make a list before you go. But not any list, make it based on what you are eating that week. Check what you already have and what you need to buy. This way you will shop better and not buy things on sudden urge. Check out the deals. Everyone loves good deals, right? But be careful buying something because it's on sale might not be a good idea. Instant look at the deals while you're planning your meals. And if you're not sure how to use certain on sale items, use the watch in your fridge feature in the Weight Watchers app. It will show your recipe you can make with those items. Organize your list by where things are. Try putting your list in order. of where things are in the store this will save your time no more going back to the veggie section for one avocado have a backup plan always have any easy meal for those nights when you are tired stressed or don't feel like cooking it's easy to stick to your plan when you have what you need don't shop hungry shopping when you are hungry is not a good idea to stop your stomach from making you buy everything go after me or bring a protein bar step 8 choosing your weighing in day it's important to pick a day to check your weight this helps you to stay focused and keep track of how you are doing when you choose a day to weigh yourself regularly it shows you are serious about reaching your goals checking your weight often is how you see if you are making progress if you do it once a week you can see how much you are improving and celebrating your success some people weigh themselves every day to keep a close eye on their progress but in the weight watcher system only one weighing in per week counts for tracking your progress whether you're weighing yourself daily or weekly the important thing is to stick with it find a day that works best for you and keep doing it week after week step 9 getting support If you want to lose weight and keep it off, having people cheering you can help. You can go to meetings with others trying to lose weight or join online groups. If you can't go in person, your friends and family can also be a big help. Whether it's working out together or cooking healthy meals, it's important to be honest about your struggles and success because others might have been through the same thing. and can give you good advice surround yourself with supportive people and you'll have the encouragement you need to reach your goals step 10 have fun let's make losing weight fun and lasting having fun can keep you excited and on track you can join a weight loss challenge try new recipes or set mini goals remember enjoying the journey is key not reaching your goal weight keeping it up and celebrating your success there are many diets out there to help you lose weight but there is no one size fits all choose what works for you and your lifestyle it's not about strict diets or exercise routines but about making lasting changes think about what you enjoy and what fit into your everyday life now here's another popular way to lose weight you might want to think of the mayo clinic diet It's about eating right, moving your body and changing your habits. Not a fast fix or trendy diet. Instead, it's a way to shed pounds by making little easy changes you can stick with. Watch the next video to learn more about my clinic diet.